Welcome everyone! Welcome! Welcome to the beautiful island paradise of Not At All for another Animal Crossing livestream. My name is Luke. This is my avatar on screen. His name is also Luke. Uh, because he's me! He is, of course, an avatar of myself. Hello everyone who's joining in the chat. Hi! Hi everyone! Binary says hi Luke. Prismat George says hello! I am here. Hi Luke. Ah, oh, great to see some familiar, familiar names and faces in the chat. Uh, and hopefully some, uh, hopefully some, some new faces as well. Hope maybe this is if, you know, shout if this is your first outside extra live stream that you're catching live. Uh, we have got an awful lot of fun planned today. Hopefully at some point we will be getting a visit from Ellen, the other half of Outside Extra. Uh, I have not seen her Animal Crossing avatar yet. She has kept it secret. So yeah. I am. I'm psyched to see that, and I'm psyched to show you all um, the changes that have been unfolding on my island over the last few days. Uh, but yeah, this stream is going to be a good time. It's going to be nice and chill. Um, I'll be keeping an eye on the chat as best I can. Welcome along, Tom McSod, new member. Okay, first up, let's check out my house. Let's head on inside. Show you. Show you. Show you what's different. It's going to look quite different from uh, from last time you saw it. What do we got? Look at this. Check this out. Did somebody say coherent color scheme? That's right. We got got a got a mirror, got a new bed, all this wooden furniture. I've customized this also that it's this nice deep green. Look at this big luxurious rug. Um, unfortunately, this is still my sofa. Uh, I have not yet come across a better sofa. Though I would dearly like one. And what's this in the corner? That's right. It's your favourite. It's the Archaeopteryx fossil. That's right. I got a duplicate Ar Archaeopteryx uh, fossil. So, uh, yeah. So, now... So, obviously, the other one had to go in my house. Um, we got the guitar. Um, this was an interesting find. This is like a sort of... Like, a bit of intense DJ equipment. Um... And my absolute favourite, this fell out of the sky. This was a, a gift from one of those um, presents that drift, drifts along in the sky, which I couldn't believe. This lovely jukebox, check it out. Um, so when you buy records, you can register them in here. Unfortunately, when you do that, that means that those records then become uh, like effectively used up. So you can see over here on the wall, I've got my little collection of KK records. Um, so I, I'm currently only putting in the jukebox ones that are duplicates because I, uh, you know, obviously I want, um, obviously I want both to be able to listen to KK Records and to complete um, my collection on the walls. I love that rockin' KK up there. So cool. Um, this KK march could be a lot louder and more obnoxious, don't you think? Let's turn that up. That's the stuff. Let's just enjoy that for a moment. While we pan the camera. This is going to be the whole uh, live stream, just as a heads up. Oh, who MD21 says you can take out those records by pressing Y. And Spiffy Mark quotes me when they say the music of KK Slider should be studied. And that's right. Welcome along, new member Tom L. I want to try to test out this uh, taking records out. Oh, uh, oh yeah, remove. So wait, so does that now go in back into my? Yeah, that goes back into my inventory. Oh, that's great. Well, let's pop it on the wall and let's put on some rocking. Let's put on some rockin' KK to see what that sounds like. Um, I love this. I love the home designer. Um, it's really... I mean, it's pretty easy to use. I'm not going to say it's like the easiest thing to use, but it's pretty straightforward to use. So um, let's just pop that down there. Get out of this. MJ says, much love to all of Team OX. As always, your videos and streams bring so much joy, and that's especially important at the moment. Take care of yourselves. Uh, Flames Run of Flame says, where is the towel? 
Good question, that's the towel that I was wearing on the last live stream. Well, as you can see, I've got a new cool tie-dye get-up. Uh, but don't worry, the towel is right here. Yeah, that's right. Um, now, throughout this stream, you're going to get a little frustrated because you're going to say, Luke, please take the towel out of your inventory because uh, it's taking up space and space is so precious. But I have not taken the bath towel wrap out of my inventory since I got it. Um, oh no, I did briefly put it in storage, but that was a terrible mistake. I should never have done it. So it stays in my inventory and I'm sorry, that's just the way it's going to have to be. Um, oh wait, hang on, I didn't pick up the thing yet. Okay, so let's grab that KK record and let's, let's, let's give it a listen. Move to pockets. Uh, yeah, let's register, register a song. Here we go. Rockin' KK. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, KK, you make me want to do the twist. So good. Well, we could stay here all stream listening to KK Slider, and maybe we will. Welcome along, new member Kelda Lars. But there's loads of stuff more to show you. People in the chat frustrated that I haven't collected my miles. All right, here we go. Collect my nook miles. I've got quite a lot, lot of nook miles at the moment, as, as, as you can see. It's nice to, yeah, it's nice to have them sort of stored up a little bit. Spiffy Mark says you'll have to speak up. I'm wearing a towel. Okay. Jeremy Rock says just KK sing. Not on the records. They're kind of like instrumental of the air check versions. Okay, so now let's go check out the rest of the island, shall we? See what's going on. Check out a new resident who moved in. You might recognise her from the last stream. It's a pop star called Blue Bear. How you doing, Peach? What's the latest, Blue Bear? Did you know the moon is about 235,000 miles away? <laughs> and let's hope it stays that way. We don't want a Majora's Mask situation on our hands, am I right, Blue Bear? I'm going to walk around the Not Atoll shore until I've walked that far. Just call me Moon Bear Cub. Okay, Moon Bear Cub. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've walked that many miles around the coastline just doing fishing. Um, okay, look, two very exciting things happening here. Um, Gentleman Drill says, make some space. Elvis Presley, KK, is in the house. Literally. That's right. That is absolutely right. Um, okay, so uh, we've got here. This looks like a fossil. Give me that fossil. Nice. Uh, also, look, I added to my um, skull collection, the Plaza skull collection. We've got a plesiosaur skull now, because um, I got a duplicate of that. And check it out, this is the money spot. Now, if you're playing the game and you spot one of these on your island, you want to dig this up for some free money. Yeah, a thousand bells, very nice. Now, am I going to fill in that hole? Absolutely not. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take... 10,000 bells out and I'm going to bury that because in a few days time that's going to sprout into a tree with 30,000 bells on it which is pretty rad. Uh, we've got a rock here as well. Let's harvest the resources. We're doing every, everything with the proper technique now. Oh, sorry, that's actually not the proper technique. Stood in the wrong spot. Do, 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 do. I'm right on the cusp of moving into the next stage of the game um, where like uh, the music's gonna change a little bit and, and and stuff and I'm so hyped for that because like this theme that's going that's playing at the moment oh, I should have picked up that stone never mind never mind we're past the uh, we're past the point where iron nuggets are the most precious resource imaginable which is nice da -da -da -da. hello new member Holly Zabiella welcome along hi good to see you and Tom McSod says, a few nights back, I fell asleep watching your stuff on YouTube and woke up to a three-year-old video of you nerds playing Mario Party. I did not change it. Ah, oh, vintage Mario Party stream. Amazing. I'm amazed we're all still pals after that. Um, check this out. This is pretty fun. We got... Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to, didn't mean to hit you, dear sweet horse. There you go. That moves a little bit. That's the gameplay. That's the gameplay we crave. 
Um, we got the shop is open now, so let's check it out. I haven't been in here yet today. Um, let's see what's available. Oh, that looks like an incense burner, an ironing set. Is that a generator? Outdoor generator. Mm, I'll pass. No, thank you. I don't need an outdoor generator to have a good time. Um, all right, some interesting stuff here. Let's find out what the what the um, what's hot today. The high value hot item of the day is the pot. You pay twice the usual amount for hot items. Okay, so might be I could make a bit of cash by uh, by crafting the pot and and selling it to the nooklings. But uh, I'm not going to feel any under any particular pressure to do that. Uh, Lumos D says, just walked into Nook's Cranny and found a model ship on sale. All I can think of is Luke's song. Ah, oh, that's very sweet. Well, you should get that model ship. I would love to find a model ship in the game. you got to get it. I can't believe just the, the sheer number of different, of different um, like, uh, bits of furniture and stuff. Oh, hello. Who's this hiding in the shade? It's only... It's only another fossil. Well, we'll certainly have that. Lovely. Uh, okay. Um, we might harvest these fruits a little bit later. But again, no rush. Um, let's check out the museum. I'll show you how my dinosaur collection is getting on. <laughs> Welcome new member Tom Butler. Um, alright, let's head down here. See what we can see. What we can see. Um, check it out. I've got some amber over there on the left. It's nice, so I can turn this island into a regular Jurassic Park. And then in here, look at this. Look how my Dino collection is growing. We've got this great big turtle situation going on. We've got the tail of something, we've got a stegosaurus head. There's the T-Rex up there. There's my Archaeopteryx. Stand on this blue spot, we can just drink it all in. Everything's about sort of like half, halfway done. Um, so I, I would really like to, I don't think I've completed anything. Frodo Baggins says, was there a spider there as well? Uh, yeah, there was, look, there's a, sp so I have no idea why this has happened, but I caught a tarantula, but obviously that was a bug and it was put in the bug collection, but now there's this, there's this like little spider in a jar in the museum. I don't know what it's doing there. I do not know what it's doing there. Brock Sisson says, any plans to play hide and seek like Eurogamer did? I saw they did that, that was such a good idea. Maybe we should, um, maybe we should play, uh, hide and seek a bit later. <laughs> um, uh, Fatima M, always good to hear from you in the chat. OMG, I only just decided to take a break from playing and now I get to watch. Animal Crossing is inescapable and I'm fine with that. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, let's assess some of these fossils, shall we? Dominic King says, I never had interest in playing this, but watching this makes me want to buy it along with a Switch. If only I had the money. Loving the content, by the way. Thank you, Dominic. That's kind. Uh, all right, let's assess some fossils, Blathers. Come on. Give me the good stuff. Give me the good stuff. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so only one of these fossils is new. But what What are they? What are they, Blathers? No, 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 no. I want to see them. I want to see what they are. What did we get? Ah, oh, no, another mammoth skull and a trilobite. That's fun. Okay, well let's donate the let's donate the trilobite. What would you like to donate? Well, Blathers, I'll tell you. A trilobite, please. Who's ready to hear some interesting facts about trilobites? I hope it's you. Wonderful, it's fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Trilobites were ancient and extinct before the dinosaurs ever appeared. Oh, sorry, I'm not doing the voice. Goodness. <clears throat> 
trilobites were ancient and extinct before the dinosaurs ever appeared. It boggles the mind. Ooh. They were also one of the most successful classes of animal ever existing for over 300 million years. Some 50,000 species have been identified in sizes ranging from 3 millimeters to over 2 feet. Alas, that is the very limit of my enthusiasm for them, though they look rather too much like bugs. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are delayed in a timely manner. You have my gratitude. Cheers, blathers. You're all right, you know. Okay, so the good news is we get to sell a mammoth skull and see how much it's worth, because we've already got one mammoth skull in the museum and we've got one in the plaza, and... Don't get me wrong, I love mammoth skulls, but I just don't think we need that many. Um, I can't give it to, I can't send it to a friend. Fossils, bugs, and fish, you can't, um, you can't send, you can't trade them, which is, um, which is a shame. But I can kind of see why they did that. How much do we get? 2,400. Well, that's about as much as I would get for any fish that I can get in two seconds, so... Um, I'm a little disappointed in that, but hey, there we go. Uh, right, I'll tell you what we've got to do now. We've got to customise my new phone case. Uh, so I now have the power to customise things, which is pretty cool. Um, which means, yeah, change the appearance of my Nook phone. If you use a custom design, it will keep its appearance even if that design is changed. If you use a custom design, your Nook phone will keep its appearance even if that design is changed later. Uh, okay, gosh. Hmm. Well, these are, these are all just different colours. James Hatton says, yes, Luke. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Paranogram says, love that Luke coordinates his flower with his outfit, outfit, fashion crossing. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, people pointing out, I didn't know this, that if you sell stuff at the box, you only get a partial amount. I had no idea. Huh. Okay. All right. The box is only 80%. Oh well, never mind. It's only money. The Fingers E. Mahoney says, finally caught my first stream. Morning from a small town. In NC, love your guys' stuff. Managed to access, managed to assess an Archaeopteryx after finishing the second uh, assess, um, Animal Crossing um, video on demand. Um, Assassin's Creed, I nearly said that. Okay, so here are my custom designs. One is some angry eyebrows, and one is like a beard with a heart on the cheek. So I'm not sure if these custom designs are really all that. I'm yet to make a kind of... Uh, like iconic graphic for the island um but you know maybe now maybe maybe now maybe now is the time you know um ah, okay well, fair enough um <laughs> caitlin rc says luke it's only money nook plots murder Angel Beat says, should that phone be a Nokia? Oh, they totally should. I bet it is. Bradley BL says, thanks for the chill streams. Loving it to help calm down after a long shift to help you make medications during these tough times. Sending everyone love. Um, that sounds like a very worthwhile use of time. Uh, and Alexis West says, hi Luke, been going through a lot of stuff recently and your streams have massively helped. This is the first one I managed to catch live. Oh, Alexis West, I'm sorry you've been going through a hard time, but welcome along. I'm glad you could join the stream. And thank you for watching them um, up till now. Uh, yeah, and I, I hope things improve. Hang tough. Uh, oh yes, what's this? It's only another fossil. Oh my gosh. I'm rolling in fossils. I'm positively rolling in fossils. Um, right, should we, should we have a, should we have a crack at this rock? Um, see what we can get out of it. Bam! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Can I get an eight? I c oh, okay, well that's all we're getting. That's fine. That's an acceptable amount of stuff. Whomd21 says, 
Uh, hey Luke, I made a double-sided Oxboxtra logo t-shirt and would love to show it off, but I need to wait a few days for the Able Sisters shop. Uh, yeah, we're all waiting for the Able Sisters, so... Oh my gosh, another fossil! Yeah, no, no, that's the wrong spot. I feel like I'm doing real well with fossils here. Awesome. Um, okay, so, as you can see... This is a little development that I've constructed here on the beach. Lovely new builds. Uh, two of them have residents in. This is this one belongs to Blue Bear, who you've already met. This one belongs to Daisy, uh, who I met on an island and haven't yet met in the game. So let's go say hi. Uh, Timu Pulkinen says, "Hey Luke, that's really smart setting up those wooden logs around your those wooden logs around your rocks." Thanks. Uh, I saw I saw it on Twitter. I wish I could remember who to who to credit with that idea, but yeah, I saw it on Twitter. It was a really good, really smart idea. Did you come by to check on me? You're so sweet, Luke. I've relocated, but as you can see, I've got a lot of unpacking to do. Thanks for convincing me to make this change. I'm excited to be here. Man, Daisy, don't worry about it. Bow wow. Daisy's been self-isolating. Oh no! I, I hope I didn't just break Daisy's self-isolating by barging in. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, so here's another thing I did. Uh, I've got a little area on my island that I'm trying to make a kind of bug paradise so that I can check in and catch bugs here. Although, as you can see, there are no bugs here right now, which is a little irritating after I went to all the trouble of making a bug paradise for them. Um, it's got lots of flowers and tree stumps. Uh, yeah, and my hope is that... In fact, let's make another tree stump, shall we? Let's turn this one into a tree stump as well. I need a bit more fencing. You can see I'm sort of running out. Oh, look! Look who it is! I'll just approach with this axe. Don't panic, Mira. Jamie JK says, just like to say thank you for the stream today. No worries. Mira says, yo, Cottontail, what's the word? Uh, let's chat, Mira. This weather rocks. Feels like anything I do is going to turn out awesome, Cottontail. Oh, Mira, you've got such a good attitude. I really like all my villagers. Um, even Mac, who's, like, obsessed with, with games and fitness. Uh, let's have a little... Let's have a little see, let's see what this fish is, shall we? I've been doing loads of fishing. I've been trying really hard to catch rare fish. And I have caught a few, um... Quite rare ones. I caught a char the other day. That was um, that was pretty rare, um, but uh, nothing, nothing more rare than that. So far, anyway. Uh, uh, we got another a little rock. Let's see what natural resources we can plunder out of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can I get an eight? I can. Lovely. Well, only one um, iron nugget, I think, out of that. Which is not a great nugget yield. But, not to worry. Sounds about White says, starting vacation tomorrow. Looking forward to watching whole streams rather than just tidbits between driving a truck. Thanks for the entertainment. Oh, you're real, really welcome. Sarah Shoot says, I caught a coelacanth this morning. Wow, that is, that is like one of the really super rare fish in the game. I'm really jealous. Uh, Rebecca M says, my girlfriend caught two sunfish uh, on hers, which is pretty nifty. That really is nifty. Um, maybe we should do some fishing later on the stream. I find that fishing is just a really... It's one of the few things in the game that you can kind of do indefinitely as well. Like, it, you don't sort of run out in the day of, like, of, of things to do. Um, with it, I should be running around with my uh, net in case I see a bug. Maybe there's something in this tree. No, there is not. Uh, Frodo Baggins says, hey Luke, you're playing with Master Mode, encourage me to pick up Breath of the Wild again, still need to finish all my shrines, got to get that classic outfit, oh yeah, you've got to, you've got to put Link back together, you've got to get him how he's supposed to, supposed to have been. Uh, Red Shadow 120 says, what's your favourite cocktail? As a bartender displaced by executive order for the next month, I'm itching to pour a drink for someone. Oh, Red Shadow 120, um, that's rough, I'm sorry that you were, um, displaced in that way. Um... It's a tough time for bartenders out there. 
Um, so, I'm sure I won't be the first to just salute the bartenders. Thank you. Um, oh, hello, who's this? Who's this? Someone's on their way here. Who could it be? Who could it be? Excitement. Oh, favourite cocktail was the question. Um, I love anything with rum in it. I love rum, co rum cocktails the most. It's Ellen from Den Isle. <laughs> Ellen's a right. Ellen is in Den Isle, but she'll shortly be in not at all. Okay. Den Isle is a really amazing island name. Um, oh, oh no! A communication error has occurred. Your communications environment could be unstable. If you continue to see this error, please visit the support website. Oh my goodness, oh no. We've not had that before. Calamity. Um, um, let me check with Ellen that her internet's working okay. Um... Uh, <laughs> just messaging Ellen. Um, she is in the chat as well. Um, well, we'll see if we can get that sorted out. Uh, right. In the meantime, where was I? I was patrolling the island. Um, <laughs> patrolling like it's under potentially under attack. We were still talking about cocktails, weren't we? Um, oh, look. Yeah, anything with rum in it. I love anything with rum. I love, uh, I love a Long Island iced tea. I love a, I love an old fashioned. Um, oh no, that's it for my shovel. All right, we've got to go craft a new shovel, folks. Let's go do that right now. Best Bloomer says, as Ellen's plane crashed on a mystery island with a polar bear. With a polar bear? Is that a reference to um, the, that old cartoon that had a... What was it called? Uh, Noah's Ark? Was it called... No, Noah's Island. Noah's Island. There was a old cartoon with a polar bear, I think. Did I dream this? There was a polar bear and he had an island and the island floated around? Uh, possibly I imagined that. Um... Oh, it's a lost reference. Oh, wow. Well, that shows me... Well, that, that really um, that really shows how up I am on contemporary references. Not lost. <laughs> it's like references lost. Oh, you probably mean Noah's Island. This incredibly obscure... Um, this incredible... <laughs> I'm enjoying all the Noah's Island nostalgia in the chat. Yeah, Noah's Island. I'll tell you what I was getting nostalgic for the other day as well, because um, Disney Plus has just launched in the UK, so I was I was um, uh, I was watching some of that, and they've got all of Gargoyles, which was a '90s like Saturday morning cartoon about gargoyles. Did anyone watch Gargoyles? Can we get nostalgic about gargoyles, please? Uh, GIE says, hoping to listen to the new In This Moment album tomorrow with my sort of girlfriend. I'm hoping it'll cheer her up. Quarantine is really getting to her. Wish me luck. Uh, yeah, all the best. Wishing you luck, GIE. Jack Solomon says, hi Luke, would you please give a shout out to my partner, Casper? I got him into OX and Breath of the Wild, despite him never playing a video game. Love you guys. Oh yeah, of course, a shout out. Um, yeah, definitely. Shout out, shout out Casper. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And I'm, I'm glad you're into Breath of the Wild. What an incredible journey. I'm jealous. I wish I could get into Breath of the Wild for the first time. Ah, oh, yeah. Look, everyone in the chat. Just just reminiscing about gargoyles. That's what you want. That's what you want from a live stream. Is to, is to remember the TV show Gargoyles. Um... Yeah, so I watched the first episode of Gargoyles. Yeah, this isn't the end of the Gargoyles chat. So I watched the first episode of Gargoyles. I was like, oh, I get nostalgic about this. I see what it was like. And it was absolutely wild. It's like the whole first episode is in, like, um, 
Middle Ages Scotland with some extremely questionable um, accents. Um, yeah, and it ends on a cliffhanger, so you so you, you never really like find out what happened. Welcome along, new um, member Tabby Cat, Black Bass. Should swap with something. Oh, um, let's let it go. It's not like Rugal Rowan says, "In life is strange. Which relationship do you ship?" Um, well, uh, Chloe and Amber, most of all, I suppose. Although, I do respect the strain of thinking that Amber is like maybe you know not 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 great for Chloe but um which is something that we've just I mean if you're into life is strange and all this kind of stuff then um you should check out um you should check out some of the life is strange uh videos that Jane and I have done um hang on I should be selling this stuff in the shop in the shop in the shop <laughs> Oh, hello, Timmy. No need to greet me. I've been in many times. I want to sell, Timmy. I got a hankering to be selling some weeds and a clam. Uh, let's offload these coconuts as well. And the yellow perch and the cowries. And, yep, yeah, let's even... Let's even oh, I'll keep the apple just in case uh, Ellen is lacking an apple. Um, I got this hat. But I don't really... I, I don't love it. So let's get rid of that. Uh, yeah, and that'll do me. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> okay, right. Um, well, I've got these two new fossils. Why don't we go get them assessed? I mean, um, the chats, the chats on, uh, the chats on Life is Strange ships now, which is, which is where, which is where it should, it should remain, frankly, for all time. Okay. Oh, look, we do have a bug. We finally have a bug in my little, in my little bug paradise. Let's, uh, let's sneak up and, and nab this. I've definitely, I can't remember what it's called. I've definitely already got one, but, um. Caitlin RC says, Bay over Bay, come at me, Luke. Uh, man, I don't even need to have this discussion. I, I, the, the facts are self-evident, um, in my opinion. I don't even, I'm not even sure it, it warrants discussing. It would be like discussing the color of the sky. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, right, okay. Hopefully. Yeah, wake up, Blathers. Shake yourself awake. I have more fossils. Assess them now, Blathers. Now! There's no time. I need to know if they're rare fossils. Okay, here we go. Mmm, only one of them is new. Only one of them is new. But let's find out what they are, shall we? Um... Oh, a Stegosaurus torso! Amazing! Amazing! Well, I can't wait to see that. Let's definitely donate that and go check it out. Uh, Céline Rosin says, hello from Paris. Lockdown is fun now. Hope I pronounced the name correctly. Uh, yeah, hello Paris. Um, uh, yeah, let us know where you're... Um, uh, let us know where you're watching from, if you're in the chat. Uh, all right, I'm going to get a short presentation on Stegosaurus. You can't talk... Sorry. <clears throat> you can't talk about Stegosaurus without talking about the distinctive diamond-shaped plates on its back. These plates, while made of bone, were not actually connected to the animal's skeleton. They simply grew out from the skin, remarkably enough, and were up to two feet tall and similarly wide. It's not clear exactly how the plates were arranged or what they were for, yet more mysteries of the ancients. And that is what I have to say about that. Any hoot, I will gladly accept your generous donation. Cheers, Blathers. Jesse Wilkins says, I have an in-game ocarina for you. Let's hook it up. Oh my gosh. Um, no, 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 no. I, I mean, that is so generous, but I but I really want to... Um, oh, everyone's saying we're there for... We've got Bulgaria, Finland, Australia, Denmark... Uh, Virginia, USA, South London, Germany, Leamington Spa, Macedonia, 
Indiana, Portugal, Cape Town, Southampton, South Africa, Scotland, Canada, Tokyo. Ah, oh, awesome, 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 awesome. Um, uh, Vienna, Pennsylvania, Iowa, Ishikawa, Japan, Switzerland, Oklahoma, Ireland, Sydney, New York, Suffolk. This is wild. Sunny Lancashire, Texas, France, Portsmouth, Chile, Sweden. Wow. Jamaica, Derbyshire, Romania. Wow. Thanks, everyone. That's cool. Wow, people come from all over. Brisbane, Edinburgh, Colorado, Dublin, Greece, Italy. Amazing. Amazing. Norway. Oh, cool. Um, right, this Stegosaurus tour, so let's check it out. So, Blathers didn't really give us many um, Stegosaur facts there. But uh, let me tell you that some theories about Stegosaurus plates. There they are. Look at that. Look at that abs absolute beauty. So um, one theory goes that it was for temperature regulation because obviously they've got a huge surface area. So the stegosaur could um, pump a lot of blood into the plates, which would cool it down. Um, uh, another theory is that it was like a mating display thing. Um, so there you go. There you go. There's the science. The science of stegosaurus. Exactly the right kind of science. Uh, Lionel L says, uh, Des Moines, Washington, uh, suburb between Seattle and Tacoma. Hello. Um, hello, Lionel. Did I, I think I pronounced that right. Des, 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 Des Moines, Des Moines. I, I hope, I hope I got that right. Um, okay, right. What should we do now? Should we do some, uh, how about a little fishing? I would love to do some fishing. I would love to try and catch a rare fish. Imagine if we caught, um, a rare fish on the channel. Um, just checking in with Alan. Okay, let's go try and let's see if we let's see if we can let's see if we can invite Alan. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, so clearly after the after things went wrong last time, seems to have closed the gate. So let's see if we can. Uh, da, da. Harry GTT says hello from Argentina. Day seven of nationwide quarantine. Stay on with these uh, fine streams. They help keep the sanity. Uh, you're so welcome, Harry GTT. Thanks for thanks for tuning in. Uh, Okay. Beth Bloomer says, vital London question, north or south of the river? Both have their charms. Both have their, both are so charming. And the river kind of go, wiggles all di diagonally, so um, uh, it's all over the shop. Uh, okay, all right. The, the gate is open, so now hopefully if Ellen is able to visit, she can. We will see. Okay, let's head on outside. All right. Okay. Fingers crossed. Uh, let's um, uh, let's see what's going on in the chat while we wait and see if Ellen if Ellen is able to make it. Um, uh, <laughs> people talking about North or South London. Joe Spicy says, Luke, did Ellen update the game? Could have been incompatible versions. Yeah, we're just on the on the latest versions. I think it was just a little um, little internet glitch. Uh, it can happen, you know. Um, we'll see how we do. Ariana Bell says, can you see my messages? Uh, I could see that one, Ariana. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you, for tune Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I come here, so thanks for all the streams we've been getting for Oxbox and Oxtra. I admire how dedicated all of you are keeping the, uh, keeping the rest of us entertained. Don't even worry about it. 
Thanks, I am here for tuning in. Um. Okay. Oh, do you guys see that? Nice, Manila Clan. Oh my gosh, and another one. Yes, we're cleaning up Manila Clan wise. Clan wise Gamgee, they call me. Checking in the airport again. Uh, Kitty Petrova says, "How do you kick sand sand in the hole? Um, you press uh, Y. Uh, you press Y on on the hole. Um, sorry, I'm still checking in with Ellen. with us. We're going to give it one more try. Uh, right, in the meantime, I'm hankering to do some fishing, so um, let's go sell this Triceratops tail, clear the inventory a little bit, craft up some fish bait, and do some fish, fish, fishage, fishage. Is that, is that a word? Fishing? Um, okay, cool. Here we go. Mm, 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 mm. I want to sell, Tommy. What am I offering? Well, I'm offering the tail of a triceratops. And also a small beetle I found. You know, normal stuff. Normal things. Now we need to run the numbers. Oh yeah, alright, that's, that's pretty good money actually. Nice! The Gazatron says, what does fish bait do? Uh, fish bait makes a fish appear, um, which makes it, which is super useful. Uh, Sarah Shoot says, yes, I just caught a sturgeon. Oh my gosh, everyone's catching the good fish. I have to get out there. I have to, I have to get to the fishes. Asha Payne says, Luke, what's your least favorite breakfast food? You know what? I don't, I'm not a huge fan of like, um, like a, a grilled or a roasted tomato with breakfast. I love a cooked breakfast, but... The tomato always feels like a, a stranger on my plate, you know. I'm never a fan. Um, all right, I'm just gonna. Oh, well, I can read the chat now because I just have to press A. Carl Rowland says I just caught a shark. Oh my gosh, everyone's catching all the. Maybe today is like a good day for rare fish. I got to check it out. Uh, Luke Dawson says, favourite 90s Saturday morning cartoon theme song. That's tricky. Um, I've got loads of time for the X-Men theme. Uh, you know, like that, like the 90s X-Men TV show. Um, that was so good. Uh, Alright. Oh, Outside Xbox says, DuckTales. Outside Xbox has entered the chat. And posits DuckTales as, a as the best 90s theme. Yeah, could be, could be, could be. DuckTales, and indeed, woohoo. Um, okay. I got a whole lot of fish bait. I got a whole lot of fish bait and I'm looking for some fish. I'm not bothering with shells because I want more inventory space for fish. What is that? Oh! Here we go, fingers crossed, folks. We've got Ellen, very first relocator. 
but is she actually arriving? That's good. That's a positive light. These lights are positive. That was tense, wasn't it? Jeremy Rock says, have you binged anything interesting? Uh, really uh, recently watched all of the anime cells at work and was presently su pleasantly surprised. I'll tell you, yeah, I have been um, binge watching something interesting. Um, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. So years ago I watched The Legend of Korra, which is the sort of um, sequel. Oh, sorry, Kyla Rowland. I said, I said your name wrong. I, I apologize. Sorry about that. Um, and I hope I didn't say it wrong that time as well. Um, apologies if I did. Uh, yeah, uh, a few years ago I watched uh, The Legend of Korra, which is the sequel series to um, Avatar. And I sort of didn't bother with um, uh, Avatar because, um, uh, well, I don't know. I just assumed that it was like the sort of like slightly more childish version. Here we go. <gasps> Look, it's Ellen. Yay. Look at Ellen's great green hair. Um, but yeah, so I watched Avatar The Last Airbender and was absolutely, uh, I, f I felt terrible that I'd waited so, so long to watch it because it was just so good. It's got, that show has so much heart. It's so beautiful. Um, I love all the characters so much. And so I, I, bin I binge watched all of that and it was absolutely wonderful. And I would absolutely recommend it to anyone of all ages. And I finished it and now I'm rewatching Legend of Korra, um, which again is just, you know, so good. So, right, that's my Avatar and Korra chat out the way. Where's Ellen? Here she is! Hi! Yo! Let's do some delighted clapping. <laughs> okay, I think Ellen is here. Looks like someone quietly left. No, Ellen, no, stay. Don't fade away. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I was running around Ellen's avatar there, trying to stop her from dissolving. Somebody went home. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I am sorry, the chat. <laughs> sorry. I know it's not funny. I know it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a, uh, <laughs> that was like um do you know that do you know that bit in doctor who where like the doctor and billy piper are like i think they're like on the beach or something and they're like but they're like oh, they're so close but they're sort of separated they're in parallel universes or so it's something like that oh man oh the chat is just catching up to that oh i'm sorry i'm sorry for laughing <laughs> i'm sorry for laughing Ellen. Oh, well, no, Ellen, it was evaporated. Um, outside Xbox says she took one look at your island and said, Nope. <laughs> no, that's not true. That's not what happened. Uh, all right, I tell you what, I'm going to open up. I'm going to open up the gate. Um, in case, in case we have, in case we have more, more luck. But yeah. Oh, no, the gate, well, the gate's still open. The gate is still open. Um... Yeah, wow, it's hard not to feel snubbed, isn't it? Hard not to feel... Hard not to, <laughs> hard not to feel snubbed. <laughs> I won't take it personally. Lord Puzo9 says, Ellen faded into the abyss. R.I.P. Um, well, I could try visiting... Uh, I could try visiting Ellen. Um... Ellen, if you're uh, watching this, let me know if you want to open your gates and, and maybe I'll try visiting your island. I can check it out. That would be fun as well. Um, I don't know if that would do any better. Obviously, it still requires both internet connections. And I think there are some internet wobbles going on. Um, but hey, I don't, mind, I don't mind trying it. I don't mind trying it. Hang on, there was a manila clown just there, there for a moment. Where'd it go? Yeah, there it is. You can't escape me, Manila Clown. Yeah, nice. Okay, right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run up to the top of the island and I'm going to grab hold of my crafting bench and I'm going to take that down to the beach. I left it up here because I was doing some intensive fishing 
last night, so I kept running back to this spot. To craft more bait. Victor Marx says, love seeing your stream. Luke, wish I could stay longer, but I need to get some sleep before work. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much. And Tess Keen says, catching the live stream while working from home in Minneapolis since I work in board games, I always ask people, what's your favourite tabletop game? Oh, man. Favourite tabletop game. Um, I love Codenames. Um, Codenames is so much fun. I really like it. Uh, yeah, I love playing Codenames. I love how accessible it is. Uh, yeah, Codenames is great. Um, <laughs> MJ says, Mr. Westaway, I don't feel so good. And Fireproof Heretic donates as well. Thanks, folks. Uh, okay, right. Let's set up my, set up, set up my little craft, crafty crafting table, shall we? Just here. Just here in a good spot. Oh, no room, is it? Is it? There we go, good. Alright. Um, let's make some bait. Sebastian Martinson says, Luke, I want to fish. Also, Luke, digs up manila clams for eternity. Yeah, I have spent too much time digging up clams and not enough time digging up fish. So, let's get... Let's break out the bait, see what we can catch. Okay, that is a little fish. I don't want a little fish. I want a great big fish. I want, I want, a, I want a shark. That's not how you get sharks. But... Obviously, I still want to catch it because you never know. You never know. Ooh. Nibble. Mm. Ooh, there we go. Chris Dibble says, loving the Oxbox and Oxbox just dreams, keeping me sane as I embark on my three-month quarantine. That is intense. Oh, horse mackerel. We've got a horse mackerel. That's cool. Um... Okay, let's scatter a bit more food. Oh, now that looks like a big old fish. That's a big old fish, come on. Ooh, we got it. We got it on the hook. Ah, oh, it's a sea bass. Well, that is big, but... Oh, no, and now that we've got a... Now we've got a broken fishing rod. Alright, so this is why we have the table right here. Yeah, let's craft. Let's craft. Uh, Queen Marshad says, Thanks for the great entertainment during this difficult time. Been staying up late despite a long day at work in the vet clinic, but worth it for this. Oh, well, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Um, oh, wait, do I not? Oh, man, I need that. Oh, please end the conversation. There is no conversation. I'm just hunched over a table. Is something happening? Do we have another, do we have an attempted Ellen visit? Everybody cross your fingers. It is Ellen from Den Isle. I'm not seeing that light go yellow. Fingers crossed emojis, everybody. Ellen's in the chat. She says, ah, please. Oh, we got, a, we got a yellow light. We got one. We got two. Can I make it three? We got three. We got three. Can I make it four? Come on. Come on, everyone. Point your collective will at the game. Let's see if we have psychic powers. Starting descent. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The pressure is immense. The suspense. Palpable. It's this chill, like, island music. But there's nothing chill about what's happening here. Okay. We have an Ellen, but will she stay? Ellen from Den Isle is here to play. Okay, I'm not getting a button prompt right now. 
where I would normally be hoping to get a button prompt. Dodo, you might want to stop clapping, mate. I think you're clapping a little preemptively. Oh, okay. We're walking out. Walking out. Oh my gosh. I think this is more fun than the game. Okay. The screen has gone dark. So... Are we on a loading screen? Are we... What am... Where am I? Okay. Okay. Do we have... I mean... Oh look, tree branches, I need those. Let's be frank, folks. Those were not the behaviours of a video game that is operating at normal internet capacity. Okay, we have an Ellen. Does she move? Is she merely a ghost? Do we have... Come on, Ellen. Move. Move for me, Ellen. Come on. No! Why? 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 Oh. Oh, ghost Ellen. Somebody went home. I can't believe... I can't believe I'm getting... I can't believe... What a snub. What a painful... Double snub. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, uh, Alright, I'm just messaging Ellen uh, offline. What a roller coaster this has been. Oh right, I needed a uh, tree tree branches, right? Okay. Uh, Kenjita says, have to admit, Ellen has really upped these Ellenings to a whole new level. Yeah, that is right. That is right. I'm getting ellen real hard here. Here I am, like, don't worry, folks. Can't wait to introduce you to Ellen. <laughs> she says she she told me, I messaged her, said, do you want to come over? And the, it says that she read the message, so I can only assume she's really excited <laughs> to check it out. <laughs> Nick Jeffrey says, must be your deodorant, Luke. Welcome along, new member Ark Bane. <laughs> Brock Sisson says, I thought Animal Crossing New Horizons was chill. This has been an emotional roller coaster. It certainly has. Um, okay. Rudy Masami Sakamoto Kawabata says, Can anyone else hear in their head Ellen saying, No! Yeah, I can hear it. Angel Beat says, Luke, do you like my island? Ellen, not at all. <laughs> Ultimate Ellening. Okay, alright, let's do some let's do some fishing to take my mind off 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 my island's immense apparent unpopularity. Oh, clam! We got to get clams as we go. All right, we we will set we will settle into the rhythm of this a little bit. Tell Ellen to restart her internet. That might fix the problem. Oh boy, it's been tried. Believe me, if there's an in, if there's if there's a behind the scenes thing that can be can be tried, it has been tried. Believe. Um. Okay, well. No worries. Okay, it looks like we might not get 
It looks like the internet gods maybe aren't going to let Ellen hang out with us today. Which is a shame. But these things happen, you know? We are planning... Ooh, a uh, horse mackerel. That's not rare. More fish. Give me more fish. What kind of throw is that, Luke? Honestly, come on. Cruel internet gods. Oh. oh. I see Bendix is in the chat. She says, yo, Luke, can I visit your island? Well, I don't know. C can you, Bendix? Give it a go. new member cat taylor uh kenjita says, oh looks like someone's on their way here kenjita says maybe you need to actually get her uh, greet her in the traditional not at all outfit the towel and raf bartholomew says hey i'm waiting for back surgery right now though it's been understandably postponed thanks for helping me stay cheerful look after yourselves okay we have another visit from ellen Okay, I tell you what, these yellow bleeps are happening much faster this time. This is good. This is good. This is promising. Am I the only one who thinks this is promising? Everyone thinks this is promising. Starting descent. Still starting descent. Can we conclude descent? All right. Okay. Oh. Okay. For the third, fourth, and hopefully final time, Ellen is walking through those airport gates. People are saying it's because I'm not wearing the towel. Well, look. Here we go. Pockets are full, so you can't put away the item after changing. Oh no, hang on. Let's let's uh let's drop these weeds and then Oh, Ellen's saying something. That's good. That's promising. Out of the way, Blue Bear. Out of the way. Run to Ellen. Run to Ellen. Come on, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yes, we have full Ellen. She's already stealing my bugs. That's exactly what you want to see. She didn't even stop to ask, hey Luke, is it cool if I have one of these bugs? That's exactly the kind of go-getter spirit <laughs> that, I, that I want to see. <laughs> hey, Ellen. How's it going? All right, let's emote. Let's do some... Oh, please close the window. Okay. What's happening now? Is this Ellen leaving? This better not be Ellen leaving. We've got another visitor. It's Bendix! Arriving from Bellum. Bendix the crisp egg. Hey, it's Bendix. Friend of the channels. Bendix, who did our incredible uh, Oxventure D&D artwork. Uh, if you've watched any of our D&D and you've seen how amazing our characters look and how beautifully they're drawn. Um, that's the work of Bendix. And now Bendix is popping along to, to say hi. Hey, Bendix! Insert cheesy pun here says, Luke, this game and your streams give me serotonin. There we- oh my gosh, look, we've got a prop- we've gone from- we've gone from internet woes to a proper little gang and oh my gosh, look, I don't think I have one of those bugs. Ellen, do- do, do not run up- don't you run up close and scare it away. Don't you do it. 
Don't you do it. Don't you do it either, Bendix. No, 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 <laughs> Andy's coming in. Welcome along, Andy. Welcome along, Andy. <sighs> well, good. All my friends are coming over here and they're taking all my bugs. Angelique uh, Joy Verata says, oh, here he is, here's Andy in his distinctive trademark helmet. So say Ellen and Luke, late to the start, so I'll be watching the VOD. Hope you both and everyone on the OX teams are doing all right in isolation. Much love to all of you. Thanks for all the great content. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, RCW says, the muddler has muddled with your schemes. He's muddled. Andy says, ha ha, no bug for you. Okay, so that's nice. Okay, so that's, now we've established. Ellen says, gimme fruit, please. Okay, so good to see that she has... Her priority straight. All right, let's get this. Here you go. And he's got gifts. All right, I'm just opening the Switch app on my phone so that we can chat faster with, with the gang. Not oranges, says Ellen. Okay, Ellen, what would you like? Do you want to maybe be specific or polite? I mean, these are all options. Uh, oh, please, there we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, I've got an. I've, what have I got? I've got one apple. You've got, I've got. Oh, oh no! Sorry, I just ate it. I didn't mean to. Let me go see what I've got in storage. Here we go. Uh, follow me. Follow. Um. All right. Follow me. <laughs> Bendix has peaches on her island. Okay, I think I have some other fruits up here. Here we've got cherries. Cherries, here we go. Help yourselves to cherries, folks. We need cherries. And look, we got coconuts here. Wow, Ellen is really, really enthusiastically pillaging all my fruit. See, see, it was so it was worth the wait, folks. Bendix says, "Can I steal one?" Bendix, how polite of you to ask. Yes, please. Feel free. Now, I believe Andy mentioned gifts of some kind. Where's Andy got to? Where has Andy got to? He's hidden himself. Perfectly. Here's Ellen. Ellen's checking out my house. No need to knock, nobody's in. Ah, here's Andy. <laughs> Bendix, stop hitting Andy with your net. Oh! <gasps> a fossil and a retro gas pump! Oh my gosh, if you think about it, the fossil kind of is like retro gas. Like one feeds into the other, right? Thank you so much, Andy. Um, let's... Uh, let's be delighted and say thank you and let's get that um, let's get that fossil uh, makes you makes you think oh no my pockets are full uh, surely I've got some some rubbish I can throw away oh look at all the um, I'll just drop this giant clam there we go uh, all right um, oh Bendix is fishing what did you catch, Bendix? That looks like a loach, perhaps? Why am I not clapping in delight? Yay! Awesome. Uh, right, okay. Um...
Jessica Gresser says, Hey Luke, big fan, love you all so much. Did you hear about the game designed to help scientists narrow down the right proteins to treat the coronavirus? I did not hear about that game, but um, that sounds useful. If you if you have heard about it, uh, if you know the name of it, um, pop it pop it in the chat. I'd be interested interested in checking that out. Uh, sea bass, horse mackerel, horse mackerel. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Um, all the rest can stay. Just get rid of these tree branches. Oh, I can free up some space in my inventory as well by putting my other clothes on. So let's do that. Bendix says, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> oh, wait, has Andy just been at my... What are you all... You better be writing nice things. This would all better be nice and above board. Well, hang on, I'm pulling my trousers back on in the plaza. Um, right, let's go get this ant, this fossil. Oh, Ellen's, pl Ellen's, play <laughs> Ellen's playing with the horse. Why don't we go get that fossil assessed? See what see what Blathers has to say about this whole situation. Oh, but um, I also want to see um, Andy's retro gas pump that he gave us. Although we won't be able to pop it down uh, while I've got friends open. Orderly Chaos says, no, you'll curse your game without the towel. Let's see, let's see. Uh, assess this fossil blathers. <laughs> Here's Ellen. Enhancing the gameplay. <laughs> oh ho! The T Rex torso! Yes! Andy, you beauty! I'm busy welcoming guests from other islands. I cannot ask you to donate at this time. Uh, Alright, that's fine. It's useful just to know what it is. Cheers, Blathers. I'll donate it later. Do not worry. Do not worry. Uh, Jessica Gress has a link there. It's called Fold uh, and it's for computer. Nifty. Ah, oh, the T Rex torso. Rawr. That is right. I wish there was a dinosaur remote. Um, right. Um, I think someone mentioned hide and seek. Let's get let's get everyone to let's get everyone together. I'm going to suggest it. Oh, I think Andy might have to bail. Ah, oh, of course. Andy has to go because he's going to be on the di on a Dicebreaker live stream very shortly. Uh, we are going to pop a link to that Dicebreaker stream in the chat. I think it starts just as soon as we finish here. Uh, we're going to finish at um, at three. Uh, so um, so yeah. So don't worry. As that finishes, you'll have another live stream to move straight onto. It's wall to wall programming, folks. Kenjita says, hope Nintendo gives you a cup because after watching these Animal Crossing New Horizons live streams, I've decided to order it. Should be here this weekend. Ah, oh, awesome. Orderly Chaos says, see, you lost the towel and now Andy's leaving. Okay, right. Uh... Heidi Seeky. Oh, we got to watch Andy leave. Temu uh, Polkinen says, it's as if you planned the live stream schedules, Luke. It's almost as if we did plan the live stream schedules. Almost. Almost. Okay. Yeah, let's do, let's play let's play so let's play some hide and seek. That sounds fun. And we should do a time it. We should time it. We'll do a time challenge. Um yeah, okay. I'm going to suggest it to to Bendix and Ellen. Okay. Hide and seek. Fastest seeker. Fastest seeker wins. I'll go first. You two hide. And I'll go I'll go into the museum where I can't be seen. Okay, so we'll give them we'll give them a minute a minute to hide. Uh, and in the meantime, let's see what's going on in the chat. 
Uh, Scott Emright says, Luke, are you going to play Deadly Premonition 2 when it comes out? I would like to. That first game was so weird. Um, uh, Sable Eagle says, Andy's avatar really needs an Italian scooter with glittery heart stickers. I quite agree. I quite, quite agree. Um, <laughs> Crowley says, Luke, you hide. We'll seek. Promise. Uh, oh man, a lot of people in the chat saying that Nintendo just re released a Nintendo Direct Mini. That sounds exciting. Um, let me let me know what they're announcing, but please don't stop watching our stream. <laughs> okay, so have we given them enough time to hide? Is this enough time? Okay. Coming to find you in three. I hope they can see this. It doesn't really matter if they can't. Two. I think they're both watching the live stream as well. One. And you've got to say this really. Ready or not, here I come. Okay, so I'm going to start the clock now. Okay, let's find him. Uh, Caitlin RC says, my money's on Bendix. Okay, where are they? Well, first, first let's check this house. Let's check, check Mac's house because that would be hiding in plain sight, wouldn't it? And needless to say... I think, oh no, Mac. Mac, have you seen them? Where are they, Mac? Needless to say, you're not allowed to change location once the once the once the game has begun. Okay, okay, okay. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Be in the airport. That would be unlikely. Hmm. I want to check in buildings because I think I think they'll hide in buildings. But on the other hand, it does take up a lot of time with the loading screens. I've already been looking for 50 seconds. I'm timing it. Shy Violet says who's timing it. I'm time. I'm timing it. Uh, okay. Right. Hello. Anyone here? Anyone hiding in my home? They'd not be hiding in my home. Nope. No one in here. Nothing in here except the... Uh, Except the rocking sound of, uh, of KK Slider. Move my camera like this for more enhanced, more enhanced island scanning. Oh, there's a message in the bottle over there. Mustn't forget that. Mustn't forget that. Ooh, could be hiding in this house. Nope, just... Was she sleeping standing up? That's... That's noteworthy. I mean, we don't have time to get into what's going on there. They have resident services. Mark's uh, Scoodler X says the entire rest of the stream will be Luke not finding anyone. <laughs> yeah, quite possibly. Okay, have I checked inside all... I think I may have checked inside all the buildings now. Except, oh, except the museum. Oh, man. Oh, no, I was in the museum, obviously. So, yeah, they can't hide in there, but there are these... There are these buildings as well, but I, if I check them, then at least I know I can stop looking in inside buildings and houses. Okay, all right, so not in there. There's Blue Bear. I just heard. I just heard footsteps. Hmm hmm hmm. Aha! <laughs> Ellen, I have found you. <laughs> you are located right now. Where is Bendix? Okay, 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 okay. All right, that was three minutes twenty-one. 
3 minutes 21 to find Ellen. Where's Bendix? Where are you, Bendix? Now, I think I'd know this island pretty well. Did you check the shop? No, I didn't check the shop. I forgot to check the shop. Oh my gosh. But also, hang on, I have to stop and get this fish because it looks big and I'm obsessed with fishing and rare ones sometimes spawn at the top, in the mouth of the river. Not the mouth of the river, the source of the river. It's really eating into my time, but I have to. Come on, what it imagine, imagine if it was really rare. It's not really rare, it's a trash fish. Ah, oh, what a waste of time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't run over the flowers, be careful. All right, Bendix. Okay, okay. Oh, not over here. Hmm. No. Oh, hello. <laughs> nice try, Bendix. Nice try. Stop the clock. Hiding out behind the 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 most inaccessible bit in the island. Yeah, nice try. Nice try. Well done. Well done. You are f you are found. Consider yourself located. Um. Okay, right. Well, let's go find Ellen, and then we'll start round two. So that was five minutes and three seconds. Ah, people are pretty... Yeah, five minutes and three seconds that was. People are pretty impressed by Bendix's technique. Ah, it just looked like Ellen was like hiding in there in, in Nook's Granny. Um, I'm just going to pop these things in the box. I'm not worried about the. I'm not worried about taking a, a small loss for doing so. Cool. All right. So once Ellen gets out from doing her shopping, we'll begin round two. So. Uh, so who's going to go this time? Um, shall we say? Ellen goes next. Honor system. Don't watch the stream. Because <laughs> obviously that would make it pretty straightforward to find my location. Ellen says we'll hide stream. Okay, cool. Um, okay. Um, shout when you're about to seek. You'll have to time yourself. Lumos D says, got to run off to teletherapy, but I've got to ask what's the most important thing to keep in mind when designing my Dob costume in um, in Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh, a Dob costume. I would say um, the jacket, the sort of like beaten up sort of leathery coat, I would say is probably the most important factor. Okay, so, uh, all right. So presumably Ellen has gone, Ellen has now gone somewhere. So now... Now I have to figure out where I'm going to hide. Um, I don't think it would be fair to hide up on a higher level because I'm not sure if Ellen actually has... Um, I'm not sure if Ellen actually has uh, the means to 
jump up, like jump up onto those higher higher levels. How about here? How about just like in the most remote corner of a rock, or possibly on the pier? The pier could also be good, like right just out in the end of the pier. Oh, hang on. I know I'm supposed to be hiding, but got to get this clam. Quick, quick, quick. Got to get the clam. Oh, oh no. Ellen's coming. Ellen's coming. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Take up my hiding spot in the far corner. All right. This is this is where this is where I'm this is where I'm hiding. Keep quiet. Sabrina Hilton says, do some fishing while you wait. Yeah, why not? Oh no, I don't have my... I don't have any bait. I don't have any bait and there's no fish. No, this is my nightmare. Maybe I'll just speculatively... Pop this in. See if you never know. Claire T says, ten out of ten hiding, Luke. So stealth in your rainbow shirt. Okay. Alright. Well, she hasn't found me yet. Revolver Rock says, may I suggest immediately behind a building, camera angle won't let them see you. Interesting, interesting. Dally Daydream says, put on towel for maximum stealth. Hey, I think that's right. Yes, stealth mode. I keep hearing the little splashes of the, um, the sea hitting the rock and thinking that it's, uh, that it's footsteps. Dakoba says, Luke, make rock noises to seem inconspicuous. Good idea, good idea, good idea. Good idea. The sound design in this game is so good. I keep hearing, like, just little bits of, nat just little bits of sound, like natural noise. I'm thinking, oh, that's it. She's going to find me. Well, how many minutes has it been? How many? I, I should have. I wish. I wish I knew how we were doing. Five minutes and two seconds was how I did. <laughs> I really love that this is that this is now basically what the live stream is. It's like if you're just tuning in at this point, we're playing hide and seek. That's why I'm currently facing out to sea. Doing and saying very, very little. Uh, I am not just the world's least ambitious YouTube streamer. I am also that, but um, but yeah, that there is there is some method to this. Cat Taylor says, "Someday my prince will come." <laughs> Presumably, in reference to my the sort of general vibe of my avatar, just staring out to sea like this. Tom Titherington says, wait, can Ellen still hear the live stream? Well, Ellen certainly could, but uh, as we established before this round, we did a, a hide-and-seek honour rule that Ellen wouldn't check the stream. <sighs> Joseph Crew says, Luke has gone full Moana. It was only a matter of time, only a matter of time. Man, I wish I had some bait, though. <laughs> Phil Tyler says, Luke turns around and notices his island is stripped bare. <laughs> that would be, um... Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Oh, okay, right. So, I've def so now I've been playing hide-and-seek for long enough that I'm at that phase in hide-and-seek where you start to think, oh, wait, are they playing a trick on me? And they're not playing anymore, and I'm just hiding, and they've gone and done something else. That's the that's the phase I'm at now. Man, 
man, this is tense. Red Shadow 120 says, Wish I could be part of your world. What would I give if I could live out of these waters? What would I pay to spend a day warm on the sand? Ah, Bendix is in the chat, says she just walked past me. Hee <laughs> hee. Exciting. Oh no! Oh no! Ellen's found me! Oh! There it is. There it is. I've been located. But, presumably, Bendix's whereabouts remain Mister a mystery. That was Ellen just checking where Bendix was hiding last time. Right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna follow Ellen now. Check out her um, check out her seeking spots. Yep, good moving across the land in a crisscross direction. Yep, yep, very good, very good, very good. Oh, that's a big old fish. I'm gonna catch. I'm gonna catch that fish. <laughs> you don't understand the chat. Everything stops when I see a big fish. Nothing is more important. Is it even that big? It looks quite big. Do you think it looks quite big? <gasps> oh my gosh! I see Bendix! I actually see her! She's hiding behind that tree! Oh my god, I'm not, okay, I'm not gonna give the game away. I'm not gonna give the game away. I'm gonna- I, okay, Bendix, you stay there, you stay there. I'm gonna be chill, I'm just gonna go fish. Like nothing's going on. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Why do we play video games when hide and seek exists? The greatest and most nuanced and deep RPG of all time. Ah, it was a boring fish. I mean, not a boring fish. I'm sorry, fish. Okay, okay. Oh! Ellen stood here in the middle. Ellen, have you given up? Did Ellen... Bendix is a ghost. Expert mode. Yep. I know where she is. You can do it. Yep. You just have to believe. That was a clue. That was a clue. <gasps> Is it breaking the rules to give a clue? I think it might be breaking the rules to give a clue, but I've done it. I've done it. Oh. <gasps> it's that bug. It's that bug that Andy scared away. Yes. Yes. Now. Now is the time. Now is the time. Yes! Oh, it's so colourful. A tiger beetle. I pounced first. Nice. Oh, I think they've actually already had one of those. The the I didn't recognise the bug, but the the flavour text. <laughs> Vendix. Vendix is giving clues now. Vendix is now giving clues. Because the chat vo Oh, there goes Ellen! She's racing away, she's racing towards the source of the sound! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Breathlessly exciting. There goes Ellen. There goes Ellen. She's lo she oh, she's looking. Oh, she's looking. She's looking- oh, she's looking behind the cliff again. She's not there, Ellen. She ain't- she's not there. 
Where could she be? Where could she be? Where was that message in a bottle that I missed? So close. So close. Oh, ho, 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 Ellen. You follow that chat bubble, Ellen. You'll be able to hone in on it on Bendix's location. Caitlin RC says we should make this an eSport. I completely agree. This is edge of your seat stuff. Where's Ellen gone? Now Ellen's hidden. Ah, I can see Bendix. I can see Bendix. There she is. <laughs> go and Bendix is found all right stop the clock okay Ellen let us know let us know what your time was there <laughs> welcome along new member Dixie Rec Dixie Rec TV um, I can't remember if I already read this chat or not Tom Titherington this has been delight I should buy I think I should buy this game thank you for thank you for bringing a smile to my face all of you <laughs> David TT says, so wholesome. I love this. Thank you, guys. Oh, you're so welcome. Yeah, this is great. This is the pro strats. Props to Eurogamer for, as, as far as I know, inventing Animal Crossing Hide and Seek. 10 minutes 25. Okay, so, so far, my five minutes holds the record. Okay, so. Um, okay, Bendix. You ready? Oh, Ellen says, Luke, I have that bottle. Ah, cool. Bendix says, yep, go into museum. Oh no, I wanted to hide in, I wanted to hide in the museum. Okay, so. Um, all right, I wonder if Ellen's going to drop that bottle for me or not. Won't let me drop it. Oh, weird. Huh. Never mind. Problem for later. Ah, there we go. Alright, so Ellen dropped what was in the bottle. And it was oh, a recipe for a log pack. Right, we've only got one minute to hide. we got to go, we got to go, we got to go. Where am I going to go to, though? Hide behind a tall building, camera angle rules. Yeah, but that's what Bendix was doing. That was her technique, you know? Um, so fun. That's pretty good. Mm, is that too obvious? My hair's, po oh, my hair's poking out of there. I mean, that's... That's pretty devious. If I remove... If I... I mean... Or I could hide in my house. Behind the museum. Oh my gosh. Behind the museum. That would be so sneaky. Because that's where Bendix is going to pop out of when she begins the search. <gasps> or in your house. I'm going to hide in my house. I'm going to hide in my house. No, I'm not. I'm going back to my... Oh my gosh, I can't commit. Alright, I'm going back to my... I'm going to resident services. The chat is slightly behind, so everyone's like, two, one. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. I'm hiding here. I'm hiding here. I'm hiding here. Okay. New comma, Jeg. Jeg? Sorry if I mispronounced that. I think I probably did. I hope it was uh, family appropriate, however that translates. All right. Here we go. I hear, I hear feet. That's Bendix. There's Bendix. Bendix is checking inside the tent. Oh my gosh. <gasps> you won't find me in 
the appendix. Kaipon Visp says it translates to here I come. Well, I guess that's probably what I would have guessed. All right, let's go on. Don't check behind. Don't check behind. I think I've been found. Okay. Yep, yeah, I've been made. Oh, Bendix, you're so good at this game. Oh, man, that was, wow, pro strats. That was, what, that was like 20 seconds? Oh, man. Well, but yeah, all right, Bendix. All right, Bendix. Oh, 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 Bendix is now doing her, like, lap times. I mean, I'm assuming she hasn't already found Ellen. You, yeah, the only time that counts, though, Bendix, is the time, is the final time. Okay, we just need Ellen to have hidden so well. <sighs> wow. Bendix is real good at this. But, I still win if Bendix can't find Ellen in four minutes. Of course, what's happened now is that I've lost Bendix. <laughs> well, Bendix is successfully hide-and-seeking. Successfully hide-and-seeking even when it's not her turn. All right, well, I'm going to run around. I'm going to see if I can find Ellen. Now, if I was Ellen, where would I hide? In a vent. Maybe. Oh, there's Bendix. Checking places out, searching every house. Oh, not so not so easy to find Ellen, is it? Oh, pressure's on all of a sudden, isn't it, Bendix? Oh, quite tense, you might say. Oh, there's Blue Bear. Right, Blue Bear. Oh, no, don't run over my flowers, Bendix. No, 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 my precious flowers. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, well. Oh, well. I guess if you invite people over to your island, you have to expect that they're going to completely destroy it. Wow, Bendix is just tearing around the island. Such speed. Now, Bendix, she's not going to be behind there. You were right to check, but that's where you hid. She's got more sense than to hide somewhere you've hidden, surely. Oh, Bendix is checking in my house. Oh, someone says they see Ellen. So the chat saying the chat saying they spied her, and that the green hair was a giveaway. certainly didn't notice. I'm trying to retrace my steps. I was just I was just following uh, just following Bendix. And here is Bendix. Now continuing to search. Oh, Bendix is typing something. Oh, Bendix is checking up there. Uh, Bendix, I don't think that Ellen. I don't think that Ellen has a ladder yet. So you're burning minutes up there, which of course is all fine by me, because the longer you take, the closer I get. To having the overall fastest time, let's not forget. Alright, so, alright, chat. Alright, chat, tell me, tell me where, uh, tell me where Ellen is. Guide, guide me. Guide, go, oh, 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 no, Bendix is down back on our level. Searching again, searching again. Where could Ellen be? Where, oh, where? <laughs> this game is great. Northeast, near the cliffs, 
behind a tree. Find one of these trees? Oh, I don't see an L in here. Oh, there we go. Found. Five minutes, 23. Wait, where are they? I still can't find them. Over here, Luke. All right, all right, all right. Where are you? Where are you both? Keep talking. There's Blue Bear. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, well, and that was that that was that was a really strong hiding place, like right here just in the in the in the crook in the crook of there. Okay, wow. Good game. In third. Ellen. In second. Bendix. And in first. Me. <laughs> By 20 seconds. Hey. I mean, congrats, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was great. Okay, right. Um, that was fantastic. Uh, Fishing? I want to finally get to- I want to finally do a bit of- I want to finally do a spot of fishing. Woo! Alright. So let's head on over to... The pier. Let's do some fishing off that pier. I think that'll make a nice photo. A nice one for Grandma. See if there's anything on the pier at the moment. At the moment, any fish out there? No. All right, I'm just going to go make some bait. Oh, and every, people saying Ellen needs a ladder. Oh yeah, we'll craft Ellen a ladder before we go. That will give her a big, big leg up in the, uh, in the, in the early stages of the game. Kyla Rowland says, "Hey, how do I get a ladder? Please tell me." Um, so you get a you get the recipe for a ladder. Um, uh, when do you when do you get the recipe for a ladder? Uh, it's after you've done a certain milestone. Um, uh, I think it's. I want to say it's after you've got all of the resources for the shop. I think that's right. I think I'm remembering that correctly. It's a it's a sort of milestone thing. Um, Ooh, two manila clams. Bendix says take mine. I can make more. Ah, oh, Bendix must have some bait. Oh, or possibly... Hey, there we go. Ah, oh, cool. Bendix hooked Ellen up with a ladder. Good stuff. All right. Now let's all fish. This is kind of also a challenge because we're all. Hey, where are the where are the fish? Where's the fish? No fish came. Where are the fish? Why are fish not coming? When I scatter my bait. Fish. Fish. It's because there's too many of us around. Fish. 
Fish. Oh, well, Ellen has a fish. Let's just display the fish we already have. <laughs> Silver Salamence 10 says, Andy scared the fish away from afar. Yeah, I can... I can, I can well imagine. Yay! Alright, we're all showing off our fishes. Um, okay, well, why don't we just stroll along the coast... See what fish we can see. Fish. Any fish? Oh, I can't see any fish. Maybe we fished them all up. Confirmed clam. Gotta have it. Oh boy. Too much inventory. Uh, I can let this black bass go. Weirdly. Weirdly, the clam is more worthwhile. There are, there are like no fish on my island. Just when I finally get round on this, all I've wanted to do. Ooh, a clam. All I've wanted to do this whole stream is go fishing. <laughs> and now that I finally have the time, there's like no fish. Why? Why is that? Why is this? Oh well, no worries. Uh well I tell you what. Let's take it let's take a nice team photo. And then we're going to have to wrap up the stream, I think, because it's nearly time for Dicebreaker to begin. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Let's take a nice picture. There we go. That looks great. Um, oh, I can... and I can... Yay! Uh... And I tell you what I can do is I can look a bit surprised like that. <laughs> yep. Oh, that was a nice filter. That one in the middle. That was really complimenting. Oh, yeah, that's really complimenting Ellen's hair. And let's zoom in slightly and t take a snap. And then one more where everyone's looking at the camera. Wow, I look really, I look really messed up there. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Okay, well, thank you so much, Ellen and Bendix, for coming along. But don't anyone leave just yet, because I'm going to find, if I can, uh, a link to the Dicebreaker um, live stream and pop it in the chat. Let me just have a look and see if I can locate that. Um, it might be that the stream isn't quite set up yet. Uh, do, 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 uh, there we go. That looks like it might be it. Alright, here we go, I found it. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this in the chat now. Alright, folks, thank you all so much for watching. I can't believe how many... Journey here was terrible. <laughs> I can't believe how many people were tuning in to watch this uh, this stream. Um, I think it's our most popular Animal Crossing stream we've ever done. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, this was great. If you are new uh, to this, we've done loads more Animal Crossing streams. If you found this chill and enjoyable, then we've got more you can watch. Uh, and please do like and subscribe. Um, and here you go. I'm now putting in the chat the link to Dice, Gra Dice Breaker. Go over there. Jane and Andy are going to be joining in on their stream. Um, Dice Breaker stream. Here. Cool. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Click that. Find that in the chat. Um, oh wait, did that link work? Maybe that, oh wait, hang on. I think that was, I think that was maybe the wrong link. Or did, or did it work? I don't know, maybe that was, mm. That's weird. I thought that was the right link, but it hasn't, no, it hasn't worked. Okay, sorry about that. 
<laughs> I like what I like. I like how Ellen and Bendix are passing the time while I figure out how to get the correct link into the chat. I think maybe that link is just not working. Let me try again. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. That seems to be, that seems to work. So here we go. Uh, try this link. Oh, it did work. People say that the link works. Okay, well here it is again. Um, all right, yeah, go over there. Uh, check that out. Uh, cool. There we go. All right, I've put the link in. I've put the link in the chat again. Hopefully, people are saying that works. When I click it, it doesn't seem to work. But hopefully, hopefully that is. Hopefully that's working for. Hopefully that's working for somebody. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. This was a great time. Um, I'm going to be heading over to watch the Dicebreaker stream now. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, check back tomorrow um, for part three of our new uh, Oxventure Dungeons and Dragons session. And <laughs> this is pretty. This is pretty intense. What's happening to my character right now? Hang on, I better react to it. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah. Uh, so check that out. That's happening tomorrow over on Outside Xbox, 5 p.m. UK time. And um, uh, and Ellen and I, I, th uh, uh, if we can make it work, are going to try tomorrow afternoon doing a sort of show of the weekend style live video chat. Um, because I miss sharing a screen with Ellen, um, we're going to try and we're going to try and make that work if we possibly can. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Uh, this was a great time. Take it easy and uh, yeah, enjoy the dice breaker stream. I'll pop the link in one more one more time. Thanks for watching.